UMass Boston women's tennis hosting their first ever Little East Conference Championship at home on BC High tennis courts on Saturday afternoon. The Beacons taking on Rhode Island College, who they just saw a week ago and snapped a whole myriad of streaks for against them when they got that win to win their first ever Little East Conference regular season title. Coming into this one, though, the Beacons would be looking to snap a streak in which Rhode Island College had been to seven consecutive Little East Conference championships and had won the last five conference titles. And Giannis Semerle and Ira Sheik would get the ball rolling for the Beacons in the number two doubles against Amara Devine and Amaya Summer, winning 8-1 like they did a week ago. There you go with the winning point there as they shake hands. Beacons up 1-0 early. And like we mentioned, these were all the same matchups as a week ago. And in those matchups, Rhode Island College led after the doubles 2-1 to one before the Beacons came back to win the last four singles of that to win the regular season title by a final score of 5-4. to four. But in the playoffs, all that matters is, is that you're the first team to five wins. So the Beacons looking to take that advantage and be able to go ahead 3-0 possibly to help make their singles a lot easier in which they would only need to win two. As you see Albano and Stupert there on court number three in the number three doubles against Erica Batello and Serena Babola in a back and forth matchup. We'll get back to that one. It was an absolute thriller over there for them. But Lydia Chan and Megan Carney facing off against the number one doubles duo in Jenna Lisi and Lauren Macera, who were on fire all year. Specifically, Lisi has been off the charts amazing for Rhode Island College in her career. Coming into this match, Lisi had not lost the doubles match outside of NCAA tournament play for Rhode Island College since her freshman season against Salem State. She had won 38 consecutive doubles matches since then. And including the NCAA tournaments, her doubles record coming into the day was 49-3, making her a very lethal weapon, both in the doubles and the singles, as Lisi has an off-the-charts amazing record in the singles as well. So up against a powerful duo here, Chan and Carney had their work cut out for them. After dropping it last week, they were down 6-1 to one in that regular season finale and would end up coming back to just fall short of winning that one. They would have a much stronger showing today in a back-and-forth match, which was just full of energy and intensity. As you see Chan yelling there as that ball goes out of play, and then Lydia Chan and Megan Carney pull off the upset win. As this ball is going to be sliced over to Carney, Chan's going to get up, and then Carney's going to finish the job up front. And just like that, you see head coach Harshana Gonamana celebrating as the Beacons with an upset in the number one doubles, 8-6. to six. And now, just like that, they're up 2-0 in the doubles. All they need is three more wins, and the Little East Conference Championship is theirs. Elena Albana and Ayana Stupert would go into a tiebreaker and fall down 6-3 to three in that one and end up coming back to win it. 8-7 to seven in tiebreaker. We're not quite sure what the final was on that, but they end up coming back and winning it by at least two points, and there you have it. The Beacons, just like that, are able to have a 3-0 advantage heading in to the final five matches of the afternoon. And you're going to see the game-winning kill in a second here. It was an absolute beauty from Elena Albano up at the net, which helped secure that victory against Erica Batello and Serena Babola. But now, as you're seeing it work through to get to that point, the Beacons really doing their job of getting back into that tiebreaker set to help eventually get the win. And then you see here Stupert finishing off another point for the Beacons, trying to get it home. And then here you go, back over and to that side, Batello and Babola serve it back. And then Albano spikes it home. Beacons celebrate. You're up 3-0 now, and you have Rhode Island College on the ropes heading into singles, and the singles matchups will be a little bit different from a week ago. And because of that, the Beacons would have to adjust. But the big rackets came to play in this one, and Ira Shake started it off with two 6-1 wins over Erica Battelle in the number three singles. Now the Beacons just need one more win out of the final five singles that are going to play. So who can they do it with? It's either Yana Semerly in the first, Lydia Chan in the second, Megan Carney in the fourth, Elena Albano in the fifth, or Ayana Stupert in the number six. Sarah Gonick would end up beating Megan Carney in number four, six, two, and six, three. Rhode Island College steals one back. Now it's four to one. Jenna Lisi 
ends up winning against Yana Semerly, 6-1 and 6-4 in a very tightly contested matchup. Lisi continuing her strong singles career here with the win. Now the Beacons are only up 4-2. So Rhode Island College working their way back into it. But then this is where everything would come to a close as Lydia Chan, a fired up match against Lauren Macera in the number two singles. This ball back and forth. We have the winning point for you right here. Back and forth they go, serving it back and forth. Chan, back over to Macera. Macera out of bounds. And the Beacons are your 2022 Little East Conference Championship winners for women's tennis. Their first win in program history in their 27-year history. They will look forward to the NCAA tournament when that bracket comes out in May. As you see them all celebrating together as Harshana Godamana and his assistant coach, Jovan Whittier, come in to help celebrate this big beacon victory that's historic for the program.